This is Chad with the iPhone blog and today we're going to take a look at OmniGraffle for the iPad. OmniGraffle is a, it's an app that allows you to create a lot of different type of diagrams whether it's a flow chart or an organizational chart and to start off it gives you some examples of some existing documents and how you can use it but I'm going to jump right in and just create a new document. One of the things you'll notice is that it has a very similar look and feel to the iWork applications. So I'm going to create a new document and it starts off totally bland and boring, absolutely nothing going on. Uh, up, to, up in the top left, it'll take you right back to um, your documents. Uh, this button here allows you to look at all of your layers and duplicate layers, allows you to look at all of the objects that you have. Over on the top right, you have your free drawing tool. So as an example, I can create a rectangle. Not very exciting. Um, oh, I can go ahead and delete that or you can create a free drawing and again I'm going to delete that as well and then uh, over here you can go to general information about your drawing and one of the first things I'm going to do is under grid settings I'm going to turn snap to grid on and uh, what's great about snap to grid on there we go is that it actually gives you a grid layout now over here you have all your stencils you can see there's lots of choices you have colors, connections, uh, fill choices, fonts, general shapes, software, three-dimensionals, and variables. <clears throat> I'm going to start off by just going to software. And I'm going to create a, uh, let's say, a, a process for mowing the lawn. Let's say. So I'm going to take this stencil, and I'm going to drag it out here and drop it. And I'm going to create another one, drag it out here and drop it. And, whoops, and take another one, whoops, if I can grab it. Take another one here, drag it out, and drop it. Now once you've done that, you may want to connect them as part of your process. You can go back into stencils here, and I'll go to connections. And you can find uh, one that's appropriate to you. Um, I'll just go ahead and take this one here, which is just kind of a single double arrow, and I'll drop that on here. And as we move our, oops, move our finger around, you can see there's guides to line it up. And uh, what you can do is I can certainly add another, or I can tap and hold. Or I can tap and hold it, and I can uh, cut, copy, select all, paste, or there's more. So you can lock, send back, or make a table, which I think is quite uh, robust. It's actually most impressive. So I'm going to tap and hold. Oops. Tap and hold, and I'm going to copy. I'm going to go over here, and whoa, I didn't want to label, actually. I'm going to tap and hold. I'll get rid of that, and tap and hold, and paste. Uh, you can, of course, adjust these. I'm not going to bother doing that in, in the context of this demo. Um, but one of the other things you can do is you can pinch to zoom, so you can make things nice and big as you work on them. But I'd have to say that, that our drawing at this point, and I'll make it a little bit bigger, is a little on the boring side. So I can tap and hold the first one and tap subsequent objects and group them together. I think that's fantastic. And I can go to the eye icon and maybe fill it with some color. And um, I can rearrange the, the shadows, as you can see, pretty nice. Maybe I want it in the top right. And I'm not a big fan of this color, um, so maybe I'll do a, a lighter shade of yellow there. And you can see you have your RGB colors or grayscales as an example. I can also change how much shadow there is. So maybe I only want a little bit of a shadow. And again, you can move that shadow around. Most impressive. And then over here, uh, you can also uh, simply add uh, common shapes or change the shape. And what I can do here is I can change the radius. So watch what happens. When I tap this icon over here, it's rounding the corners of those squares. So now they look really sharp. Kind of nice. So now I'm going to go ahead and click away. And I'm going to actually change change the labels and say uh, by, whoops, uh, by mower. And I'll say uh, mow lawn. And then I'll say uh, sweep up. Oops. Sweep up. Oh, let me try that again. Sweep up one more time. One more time. There we go. Sweep up. Uh, so as you can see, it's actually very, very uh, easy to use. Uh, now when we're done, we can click the documents button here. And from here, I can send it via email, send it via PDF via email, copy as an image. Um, or send to photos. If I send via email, one of the things you'll see right here is you have it's a uh, .graffle uh, file. To me that's probably the biggest disappointment here is that there's no option to export into XML or anything like that. You basically have an option to send it to PDF, uh, send it with uh, .graffle, 
or send it to photos as a picture. Um, outside of that, uh, the only other uh, shortcomings would necessarily be uh, templates, like real templates to choose from. Uh, but Omni Group, the company that makes Omni Graffle, says they're working on that and will probably be out for a later version. In the meantime, this is, without a doubt, an amazing 1.0 product uh, for the iPhone with, with everything it can do. I didn't even scratch the surface. I highly recommend uh, you, you check out their website if you'd like to know more. And one of the nice touches is in the help menu, there's very robust help. So you can see adding shapes, using OmniGraffle, making changes, uh, making shadows, exploring color options, creating tables, uh, lots of good stuff. Again, very, very impressive products. This was OmniGraffle uh, for the iPad.